it. I am your teacher and today we are going to learn three things. Ones, tens and hundreds. So let's get started. So now, what are these three things? One means a single digit. From one to nine. It can be any of them. Ten means a double digit. Like from ten to 90. When we count the tens, we skip 10 digits and move on to the next one. And they are counted like 10, 20, 30, and so on. Unlike ones, because when we count ones, we count them like 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now, the hundreds. Hundreds have two zeros at the end of them just like this and they are from the hundred 100 to 900 and we can't we skip hundred digits when counting hundreds it goes just like the tens hundred 200 300 and so on how do we put them together Let's suppose that we have a number 234 or 234. Where will the ones come? Because we write from left to right, so this means the smallest number should be on our most right. The number to our most extreme right is the ones. The number in the center before the ones is the tens and the numbers to our extreme left or the largest number in this value is hundreds this means that we have two hundreds 30, 3 tens and 4 ones. If we plus 3 of them, we get the major number 2, 30, 4. This was 3 of them together. What if we have a 2 digit number 29? How do we de determine the values, place values over here? As I told you before, we write from left to right. This means the number over here is the ones. And numbers over here is the tens. This means we don't have any hundreds, so we don't write it. What if we have a number like three? Zero, 09 How do we explain it? As we know, this is the ones and this is the hundreds. But this is zero and we know that zero means nothing, but because in it's in the tens place, it's the tens. But when we write it how do we write it this means it's three hundreds plus zero tens plus nine ones and it equals to three zero nine simple isn't it the question which could confuse you is what if we have a number like six two zero we know that this is the hundred which we can express by a large or capital H. This is the tens, which we could express by a large or capital T. And it's zero, but since it's in the ones place, it's the ones which can be represented by a large or capital O. But don't be confused. Don't intend not to write anything in this place. You need to write this zero. Because if you don't write it, it will be 62, 
which means two ones and six tens. And this is a different number with six hundreds, two tens and zero ones. We can also write it like six hundreds plus two tens plus zero ones, which means six twenty or six hundred and twenty. Enough of me explaining to you. Let's see, can you write this number? into the numbers like this now let's start with the ones how many ones do we have exactly we have six ones how many tens do we have bravo we have five tens and how many hundreds do we have Excellent! We have seven hundreds, which make the number 576. Well done! Now this is another question. It's the opposite of what we are doing. This means we have to write the number which will become if it's broken into pieces. When we have to write the number, we write it from left to right. So we start with the largest one. We have eight hundreds. Because we have a ten and a one, we don't write the zeros. We just write eight. We have twenty-two tens, and because we have the ones, we do not write the twenty, the zero. We write the two only. And the last one star of the show 5 the number will be 2825 the last question which I'm asking you today what will this equation equal to as we know we are going to start with the largest number so how many hundreds do we have exactly we have nine hundreds and because we have the ten and the one we don't write the zeros we only write nine how many tens do we have superb we have eight tens and how many ones exactly we have three ones so the number will be 983 or 983 or 900 plus 80 tens plus three ones I hope that the concept of ones, tens and hundreds is clear to you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you can get to know more interesting things and don't forget to share it with your friends so they can be as smart as you. Bye. Bye.